the PRCA gene. This is a patient simulated task. The task covers the following communication with patient, information gathering, applied clinical knowledge, patient safety. You are about to see Sara John, 35, who is here as a sister, is recently diagnosed with cancer of the breast. She has been tested positive for PRCA1 gene. She wants to discuss the report with you. Your task is to take relevant history, discuss what the report says and answer her concerns, formulate a management plan. Hi, I'm Dr. Ankita, one of the doctors in the clinic today. May I confirm your name and age, please? How would you like to be addressed as? Sarah, I believe you are here as you had, uh, have undergone certain genetic tests and you are here to discuss the same. Is that right? Can you tell me more? Sorry to hear about your sister, Sarah. How is she coping now? I know these are difficult times for you and the family. I'm really sorry. Sarah, is it okay if I ask you a few questions to know more about you? So, Sarah, do you have any com current complaints? Any pain or fullness in your tummy? Any problem with periods? Sarah, have you been pregnant before? Are you in a relationship? Any plans of starting a family soon? Are you using any contraception? Is there any medical problem you are seeing your GP for? Have you undergone any surgeries in the past? Is there any other family member with cancer? Sarah, do you smoke? What about alcohol? Any recreational drugs? Are you allergic to anything? Are you well supported at home? Are you aware of your weight for height? Thank you for all that information. Is there anything else you want me to know? So Sarah, before discussing the report, I would like to know if there's someone here with you as I will be giving you a lot of information. Sarah, I have confirmed that this is your report with your name and NHS number. I'm afraid the news is not good. Sarah, your report reveals that you are carrying the gene BRCA1 and I'm sorry to say this. This gene is associated with an increased risk of getting breast as well as ovarian cancer. I know this must be quite distressing. I'm really sorry. Sarah, there are options we offer our patients to reduce the risk of getting cancer. Generally, in such a situation, we offer our patients the option of a surgery to remove the ovaries and tubes to reduce the chance of developing cancer of not only the ovary but also the breast. I know you have plans of starting a family in the future, so there are some options available. Some may choose to go ahead with the surgery and that leaves the options of egg donation, surrogacy, wherein you would have another woman carrying the pregnancy for you, and adoption. So for all this, we would be referring you to a fertility center. Some may choose not to undergo the surgery and then opt for having regular tests to look for cancer like testing for CA125 in your blood and ultrasound and then have the surgery after completing family. However, I should warn you that the pickup rates of these tests for cancer isn't quite high. In case you choose the option of surgery, we would offer you estrogen replacement as these are the normally produced by the ovaries and are required for the health of the bones, heart and brain. However, 
to protect the womb we may have to add progesterone as well to estrogen and the addition of progesterone could further increase your chance of getting breast cancer so some women may choose to have the womb removed as well i know all this is a bit too much to take in i'll give you written information as well we also encourage you to self examine your breasts at regular intervals and report in case of any concerns some may choose to have their breasts removed as well i must also inform you that the surgery decreases but does not eliminate the risk of acquiring cancer so around 2 in out of 100 women can still develop cancer i could offer you an appointment with my consultant for further discussion as well as the consult cancer specialist once again sorry for having to meet under such circumstances sara thank you for your time